How you doing, folks? Joe here. It's been a hot minute, eh? I appreciate all of the well wishes and concerns and questions about where I am and how I am and what I'm doing. <clears throat> it shows me that people do care, and that's very nice. If you go uh, online <laughs> and you Google your name, right? Everybody's done it once or twice. I've done it a few times. It used to be, if I Googled Joe Robinette, it would be first thing to come up, Joe Robinette alone, Joe Robinette fire steel, Joe Robinette wife, Joe Robinette dog. Now, if you Google Joe Robinette, it'll say, what happened to Joe Robinette? Again, that's a good thing. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because it tells me that people are actively searching me which is nice, but it's a bad thing because it was like that before I took my little break, my little hiatus before Christmas. It was like that already, which shows me that my channel is not getting pushed anymore. And we'll get into that and that's fine. But uh, I just wanted to start this off by acknowledging all of that and telling you guys that I am okay and everything is good and my family is good and yeah, there's no worse for wear from the last time you saw me. Um, I'm doing better, actually. So, you can look back. I honestly can't even tell you off the top of my head when it was I started really going hard. But I know for the fact, for a fact, that at least the past 10 years. Now, I've been putting out videos way longer than 10 years. But at least 10, 12 years, I've been going full-time hard, strong. And in that time, nothing else in my life has taken priority or even really mattered. It's all taken a backseat to YouTube, right? So what my whole life has consisted of is figuring out where to go, going. And when I lived in Windsor for a bigger chunk than now of my channel was driving, I don't know, at least six hours. We'll, get, we'll be conservative. At least six hours. Um, could be eight, could be ten. One way. And filming that video, a lot of the times going in blind, going into a place where I didn't know what the train was like or what the weather was like when I got there because I'm in a whole other ecosystem, basically, when you drive 10 hours, right? Even six. So doing that and then coming home, another six, eight, 10 hours, sitting behind a computer, learning how to edit, teaching myself how to edit, learning how to edit and editing for the next two days and then getting ready to go out on the next trip. And in, in that meantime, I had two daughters, I got married, I um, lost my best buddy, my dog, you know what I'm saying? Like all sorts of things in life. We moved, we, 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 we completely changed our lives. We turned everything we knew upside down, right? Like, again, my wife and I came from nothing and then now it's not that and it, it was hard for me to adapt to that you know what I mean that takes something uh, and it does something to you but anyways all that to say I've been doing YouTube for a long time guys and I, I can't lie I got burnt out and I got listen anybody who knows anything about YouTube knows that the, the months that pay well are a month on either side of Christmas basically so it's like November to January-ish. I could be off a little bit, a couple weeks or whatever, but that's the, the gist of it, right? If I was planning on taking time off, I would not have planned to take time off on those good paying months. So they're, they're good paying months because A, the advertisers are paying more because it's Christmas time, and B, everybody's home, people are watching more. Uh, I really don't know the full meaning behind it, but I know that much. But anyways, I didn't plan on taking a break. It just happened. Like, I would not have planned to take a break in those months where they're paying the best. And then also, if you look, all my winter videos do the best, right? Way better than my canoe tripping videos. And it's been like that for years. Oh, jumped in, jumped in on that one. Anyways, um, so I didn't mean to take this time off. It just happened. Uh, my, as you know, I'm sure my brother passed away this May, this past May, and because of that, like, we really wanted to be together for Christmas as a family, 
And every year we go down there and we spend a ton of money because none of our family has anywhere for us to stay, right? We have too big of a family. Everybody's got their own stuff going on. So we have to either rent a hotel or Airbnb or whatever the case may be. So then we're eating out all the time and it's just, it's very, very costly. And it's, it's my cross to bear because we moved away, but at the same time, it's, we're always going down there. So they all agreed to come up for Christmas. And then my mom actually got put in the hospital twice and it was too sketchy and there was no way I was going to have her drive up. Nobody felt comfortable about it. So we ended up going down again and we were down there for a little while, come back. Emerald had a birthday. Um, what else? We did the basement. Finally, finally, I finished the basement. Will and I did it ourselves. I can finally say that I can put up a wall, drywall that wall, um, mud, tape, paint, you know what I mean? All the, we built a six foot long bulkhead, a six foot wide bulkhead, Will and I. That's wild, right? Uh, I bought a bunch of tools. Anyway, it took a long time, a very long time, but it was extremely rewarding. But anyways, during that, I was just home. You know what I mean? I was just home. And it just kind of, it just felt good being home and taking a break and doing things that I needed to do around the house for a while and spending time with the kids. We took them and did some stuff with them. Uh, like I said, Emerald had a birthday. Um, we went to Frankenmuth. But, oh, then I busted my foot up real bad recently and then I got sick like this crazy flu that kept lingering on I don't even know what the heck it was but I'm over it all now I feel fine I feel good oh also in that meantime I, I started going to the gym so I would go three days a week and then going to, after coming down to Windsor we never I never started going back so I have to do that I took a boxing class I took a boxing class I'm trying to further myself. We're doing a little bit of preparations, you know what I mean? But just living, living at home, living life. And um, this is the, actually the first time I've been out since I camped with Joel, I think, before Christmas. So I just didn't have the desire to get out and shoot videos. Especially, here's that other thing I started saying. My videos are being suppressed, and I, I hate. I used to hate when people said that, and I was like, "Suck it up, do better." But it's it's the case because like I see people commenting all the time, emailing me and everything, even before I took my my leave of absence, that they weren't seeing my videos anymore, and they had to physically go to my page and search them out by by name. So it's like something happened. You know what I mean? I made someone angry, which whatever it is, what it is, and I'm, and of course I know how it is too. Like I've. I've been around for a really long time. I'm old, old news now. Like it, I get it. There's other people doing some pretty cool stuff. Um, but the thing of it is, is that I'm, I'm still Joe. I'm still doing what I want to do. The point I'm trying to make is that, like, I do have a fire lit under my bum again, and it's probably for the third or fourth time in this YouTube career, and that's it should be understandable in, in that amount of time, right? Um. <clears throat> It's like a lot of the times I, I think how many times can people watch me go camping, right? I've done it all already so many times. And it's like if I deviate from that a little bit, people, a lot of people get upset about that and say, oh, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. This isn't what I came for. But then if I stick to it and do the same thing over and over, people are like, oh, you one trick pony. What else are you going to do type thing? And I get that people are finicky in general but it's just like i feel those things as well you know what i mean so it, it really like um tugs at that for me like it, it points that out even more for me so it's like i think what i have to do is get out often and start putting a video out a week again period but do kind of really what I was gonna do anyways or what I want to do and film it and do a good job at filming it. My best I can at filming it. I know there's a lot of people better than me at filming now, but go do one outdoor thing a week and film it at least. And that's just it, you know what I mean? And people are gonna watch or they're not going to watch. And I should not stress over parameters for those videos you know what I mean like uh when this is your job and your career and your livelihood and, and your, your passion and, and something that you've grown by yourself from nothing it's like you too you do tend to obsess over it a little bit right and think about it a lot and a lot of the times it's like I'm trying to like 
make like little parameters for videos and stuff that just like sometimes don't work and I get discouraged because I think that they have to be some. I don't know, it seems like th things are a bit more gimmicky these days, you know what I mean? But don't get me wrong, not in a bad way, not, not gimmicky in a bad way, it's just people like have themes for their videos and stuff, and that's just never been, really been my my shtick, my thing, like I, my whole my whole deal has just been go out and camp and have fun and film it and show the experience along the way, and for a long time, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of people really liked that, because I would get emails and comments and see people in like Canucopia and and just inundated with messages saying that I, I know that for sure um but it seems again like now like people have have themes or or, or gimmicks and stuff and i i guess um i don't know it's just not my thing like i always just i always just really focused on going on bigger trips because like that's what i wanted to do i felt like it was like a more legit thing right like for me personally like i come from the city like i wanted to feel legit i wanted to feel like a real woodsman so i wanted to go on like real trips and they just don't turn over into big videos as far as like i, I used to go and like go to a farm bush in in windsor and set up a little tarp and, and camp on that and i'd get a million views but like I went up to like say the Northwest Territories, or I took three planes to get there, and, and went and camped out with the muskox and caught lake trout off the shore, and and and, and, and camped there, and it doesn't even doesn't even transfer. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't know if I did it to myself with the two separate genres, like going on trips, and or just doing bushcraft stuff. But like for the longest time, I haven't done instructional tutorial stuff, and it seems like again if i've deviated all from like this type of stuff the views just aren't there so anyways who knows um this is something i've wanted to do for a long time here just sit camp along a nice big rock wall um i hiked in freaking busted my butt to get in with the dog camped here so i i'm having fun i do like this camp a lot and hopefully this transfers over into a, a decent video um but yeah, like I said, when this is your lifestyle, you think about it a lot, man. So what you can expect from me this year is commitment to the channel. Um, I still will go out and do trips for sure. And that's going to be, again, like summertime, I'll go canoe tripping type thing. But I am going to try to pepper in videos that I think people will find interesting as well. Something that I like, that I've wanted to do, and that I think that people will find interesting. I'm going to put effort into doing that. And um, yeah, I think it'll be a lot more solo things this year. More just with the dog type thing than with other people. But that's okay too. And um, yeah, you can expect a video a week for the most part. If I miss a week, don't, don't uh, sue me. But I appreciate you guys. I really do. And um, one, one, one thing I did want to say is that, like, for the first time in my life, I'm taking my mental health somewhat seriously. I never really even paid attention to it before. But now since my brother and stuff, and it's like I can really tell a difference um, in myself. And I don't want to be, I want to be the person I used to be for my family and for me and for you guys. I want to be um, just happy and energetic. Uh, it took a lot out of me, this whole thing. It was a bad year. And um, I'm not saying woe is me by any means like that. I just, I'm just telling you guys how I feel. And that uh, it's important to take your mental health seriously. And it's something that like... Some people, honestly, a lot of people are super aware of it. I get it. It's, it's 2024. But some people just... It's just not a big deal to them, and that was me. You know what I mean? It just wasn't a big deal to me. Just didn't think about it much. Not that I didn't care. I just didn't think about it. And um, you gotta take that into consideration with dealing with some people, I'm sure. Um, and then also for yourself, you know what I mean? Like, uh, take care of yourself. It's it's the only thing that you can do, especially if you have people that are depending on you. So we went from a hot barely able to drink tea to a very cold have to reheat tea it's getting dark i need to get some more firewood i need to get a couple more boughs for my bed here mr wolfie's taking uh cover over there in the shelter of the 
the uh, cliff where there's no snow, so that's kind of cool. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support. Um, I appreciate all the comments and stuff, asking where I was. I'm sorry if it offended you that I took this time off. It was just needed, you know what I mean? And again, it didn't, um, I didn't plan it. It just happened. Things kept happening and kept happening and kept happening. And I just did not feel like going out and shooting a video in the middle of these things at all. And um, I couldn't even bring myself to look at my camping gear. And I feel different now. I feel completely different. I'm having fun. I, have re I hung that axe. I hung. I rehung an axe that I broke today <laughs> while we were out here, so that didn't go well. But at home, I'm doing things like that. I'm planning for trips. You know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Thanks for sticking with me. And people are gonna watch. People who are going to watch are going to watch. And the people who aren't aren't. And there's nothing that I can do about that. My only concern is the fact that my channel it has been um, pushed back um, hidden a little while, a little if you will and they call it so I don't know if I want to say that word so if you haven't seen my videos and you see this one check and see if you're subscribed if not please consider subscribing and hitting the like button that might keep you on my in the algorithm uh, might keep me in the algorithm for you. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to make videos until I cannot make videos anymore for whichever reason that is. You guys have a great day. I do mean that. I do appreciate you. And I do have to go get firewood and bows. Oh, All right. Thanks, guys.